Before you begin this work, you're going to need to safely raise and support the vehicle, as well as remove your brake caliper and your tie rod end links. For additional assistance with all of those tasks, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. We're going to show you images from both the left and right side because they are the same. Begin by removing the mounting nut yellow arrow that secures the tie rod end green arrow to the spindle. Feel this makes dropping the strut into position a lot easier with the tie rod end removed. Use a fork to split the tie rod end from the spindle. Be mindful of how the spacer comes out and install it as you found it. While the strut is still mounted, remove the 16mm bolt green arrow and the 18mm nut yellow arrow that pinches the spindle around the strut tube. It's easier with the strut still mounted, pull the bolt all the way out. The sway bar end link should be removed in this step also, but not shown here. You can see the nut and bolt are removed, but the caliper is still on. You do not need to remove the caliper until you're ready to drop the assembly down, but make sure the sway bar links are removed. Loosen, but do not remove the 16mm bolt and 18mm nut that secures the lower control arm inner bushing to the subframe. This will allow the strut assembly to drop so it can be pulled out of the wheel well. If your car has xenon headlights, make sure to disconnect the level sensor arm from the lower control arm. Working in the engine compartment, remove the three 13mm nuts that secure the upper strut mount to the strut tower of the car. Have a helper or use a jack or jack stand to prevent the strut from falling all the way down and possibly hurting you. Lower the strut assembly gradually and pull the upper strut assembly out from under the fender. Use coil spring compressors to compress the strut spring. There are a few different types you can use, so make sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions on the one you purchase. With a 6mm Allen head socket, hold the strut rod inner shaft and with a 21mm socket, remove the strut securing bolt. Warning here, without the spring compressors, the assembly would fly apart under the tension of the coil spring. The spring compressors keep the spring under tension so you can safely remove the upper strut mount and spring. Note, we have removed the strut assembly from the car at this point forward, but if you are careful, you do not need to. Before removing the upper mount and spring, mark the position of the upper coil spring, the rubber gasket and the upper strut tower so you can return it to the same position during installation. Mark the position of the lower end of the spring and make sure you put the strut and the gasket in the same position during installation. If the spring is not positioned properly, it will squeak or click as the car goes over bumps. Remove the upper strut mount off of the assembly and pull the coil spring with the compressor still attached off of the strut. Remove the strut dust cover. There is a large washer that may come off with it. Make sure to pay attention to that. Remove the bump stop on the strut shaft. Here, the washer is stayed with the bump stop and is sitting on top of it. Make sure to pay attention to the order of these. This photo illustrates the left side spindle looking at the lower strut mount. You do not have to remove the spindle. We just did it to show you a clearer photo. Spread the pinch gap and a pry bar or wedge to loosen its grip on the strut body. This makes it easier to remove the strut body from the spindle. Slide the strut body upwards in the direction of the blue arrow to remove it. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.